All right, Hugo is my new favorite way to build websites. So I just wanted to go over how and why you should build websites with Hugo. So Hugo is a static website generator, which is a little bit different from a dynamic website framework, say like WordPress. So with Hugo, there's no databases, there's no backend like PHP, which is why WordPress and some of these older frameworks are so bloated and slow to load because they have to grab the content from databases before they can actually deliver it to you. But with Hugo, it builds, all, it builds your entire site into HTML pages beforehand. So whenever you pull up your website, you're not, you're not having to hit a database or anything to get your content. It's all pre-made by Hugo, which makes it a lot faster than doing something like WordPress or one of these older frameworks. And another reason why I like Hugo is it doesn't bring in any bloated front-end frameworks like React just to display a hello world. It's just HTML and CSS by default. Obviously, you can add some JavaScript if you want a little bit more complexity to your website or some dynamic part of your website, but it's just gonna be HTML and CSS, which makes it really fast to load. See, this is a site built by Hugo, and it's just HTML, and that's it. And the sites that Hugo makes are so lightweight, like my site is measured in kilobytes, not the megabytes, so you can host it a lot of places for completely free. I know Netlify is the most popular option, but with static websites, it's really cheap to get up and running with your website. Basically, you only need to pay for the domain name. So how Hugo works is you write all the content and you download a theme or you make the templates yourself. And then whenever you finish, uh, whenever you finish writing all the content and everything, you push build and then Hugo combines everything to just HTML and CSS. And I honestly think that working with Hugo is really easy. So I'm just gonna show you how I set up a basic Hugo website in just like 10 minutes or so. So obviously the first thing you need to do is download Hugo. With, you can do it with your package manager. So I already have it installed. If you're using Mac, you would use Brew. I'm on Arch, so I use Pac-Man. Install Hugo and you're up and ready to go. So the way you create a new website is, I'll just do it right here because it's so quick to make. You use Hugo new site, I'll just call it Hugo. And then our site is up and ready already. So we're gonna CD into the new Hugo folder. And we have a few different folders here. Most of these you don't even need to worry about, but just to keep in mind, all of your content is going to go into this content folder. So that's what you're going to be using the most. And I like Hugo because I can write all my content in Markdown, which I find easiest to write in. And then I just run Hugo build and then it converts it all into HTML and CSS. Now, if you don't like writing in Markdown, you can hook it up with a CMS. So you have a graphical interface to write in like you would WordPress. But for me, I just like writing in Markdown and it's the easiest. It supports Markdown by default. So if you like writing in Markdown, you'll probably like Hugo. So anyway, let's get this started. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna download a theme. So Hugo has a lot of nice themes that you can pick from. If you don't want to completely build your website from scratch, you can go to themes.gohugo.io and then it has all these different themes right here that you can download. So I'm just gonna pick something simple like this etch theme which is just gonna be nice and minimal like I like. You just have a few pages. You have the posts here, of course. So I'm gonna use this. And what you can do is you can just download it from GitHub. So I'm gonna git clone this. So I'm going to go into my themes directory inside my Hugo folder. And I'm just going to git clone this theme into here. And you can tweak the theme if you want to. I'm just gonna show you how to get it set up and I'll show you how you can theme your website a bit later. But for now, let's just stick with this basic design. We don't need anything too fancy. Okay, so we have the theme installed. Now let's go back into our root directory. And right now the theme is not gonna show up. We're gonna need to activate the theme inside the config.toml. And this is where you'll put a lot of uh, configuration for your theme. 
and for your website. So as you can see, it already has this basic information like the title of your website, the URL of your website, the language. Right now I'll just leave all this, but you can change it. And we're gonna put theme, and then the name of the theme, which is etch. Save this. And now we can start up our Hugo website right now, but it's not gonna show anything. So I'll start the server right now, so you can kind of preview your theme before you actually create it. So you can, use, you can do that with Hugo serve, and this will start uh, a little local web server on localhost 1313. You click through that, and as you can see, there's not really anything here because we don't have any posts or any content. So what I'm gonna do is cancel that with control C, and then let's create some content. So you do it with Hugo, new, and then where you want the file inside your content to appear. So this is going to be in the content folder. So I'm going to say Hugo new about.md for markdown. And now that's created, so we can go into content slash about, and we already have a little bit of front matter that Hugo added. So Hugo as the date, which is when I ran the new command, the title, and this draft field. So if you're writing a bunch of posts beforehand, but you don't necessarily want to publish them, then you can leave them as drafts and Hugo won't add them to your website until you flag them as not drafts. So I'm gonna change this to false because I don't want this to be a draft. And then I'm just going to write about me. And then everything inside content will be displayed in your Hugo website at the appropriate URL. So I'll show you how that works with Hugo serve. All right, let's reload this. Now you don't see anything new here, but we can now go to slash about, and we now have a, we now have a new page that says about me. So that's nice, and you can also add different hierarchies inside your content folder. So inside your content folder, you can go deeper into the hierarchy if you want, and let's say I wanted to uh, create something a little bit deeper, like Hugo new, let's say about, slash more about dot md let's go edit that about slash change this to false and more about me save this and now if we go and start up the hugo server again i'm just going to start the hugo server in different uh, terminal so I don't have to keep reloading it. And if you start the Hugo server, it'll automatically hot reload for you. So if you make a change in your website, it'll automatically reload, which is pretty nice for developing in. So Hugo server is up, so I'm gonna go to more about. And yeah, you can nest this as deep as you want. So the folder structure inside your content directory is gonna dictate how it looks in the URL. So that's pretty nice. I'm just going to delete that folder right here. I don't really want it. But let's add a new blog post. So those by default go into the posts folder. So let's say Hugo new posts slash my first post dot MD. All right, and now we can edit that. Change this to false, or you can even just delete this if you don't want it to be a draft my first post save that here I think if you create a new directory you need to restart the server so as you can see our first post is now up here it says my first post which is really good and if you go to the posts you uh, were all right here then you will also see the blog roll right here because it'll just show everything inside this folder okay so let's say we want to add a home page to this so you can do that with Hugo new underline index.md. And you need to add the underline before the index in order for it to work properly. So let's go into this and open it. Let's change this draft to false. And then let's just say, welcome to my website. And now we have welcome to my website on the homepage, which looks good. All right, so this is starting to look like a website, but we don't have a menu. So what you can do is you can open up your config.toml and you can add menus inside here. 
So you can have different menus, but I, I believe this theme only has support for a main menu. Some other themes will have a footer menu. And one trick, if you're not sure what your theme all supports, a lot of themes they have an example site included with it, so you know everything that you can do. So inside this GitHub, they have a folder called example site. Let's open that. And they have a config.toml here, an example config file. So this is everything that you can do with this theme. We can add a copyright down here in the footer if you want. We can add a description here. You can change dark mode on or off. And you can add a menu here. You can customize your permalinks like if you want like if you want your URL structure to be different for your posts and a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you're unsure what your theme can do, most of the themes have an example site folder which I would look into. And if, if you're not sure how to set up the content either, they have that inside here as well. So that's helpful when you're just starting out. But anyway, let's add a menu here. So you do it with menu inside these brackets. You tab in and say menu.main. And now we can and now we can put our first menu item in here. So first you need an identifier. And this is just uh, for Hugo, so you can really name it whatever you want. I'm gonna say about, and then the name will be what is gonna display on the menu. So let's say about, and then the URL is where it's going to go. So for here it's going to go to slash about. And then finally, you wanna add a weight. So the weight is gonna be uh, what order that you want the menu items to be in. Since I want this to be the first one, uh, let's add this, let's make this weight 10. The next menu item I'll make 20, the next one 30. So basically it weights it from lowest to highest. And so you can really put these in any order you want as long as you make the weights uh, in the order that you want it to be. So let's save this and we now have, have an about page here in the menu. All right, we have our about, it goes to the about page, looks good. Let's also add a link to the post page. Like, let's say if you wanted to move the post off the home page and have a different page for it, we can do that as well. Let's say menu.main again. Let me just copy this and then paste it down here. And then let's make this into posts. Let's make this into posts as well. You see where this is going. And let's change the weight to 20. Save this. And we now have posts right here. We can do the same with an external link as well. Like if I wanted to link to my GitHub, I just put in HTTPS github.com slash my profile. So you can really add anything you want in this menu. So now we have a basic website with Hugo but this is just on our own local server <laughs> inside our computer. So let me close off the local server with Hugo serve and let's actually uh, put it together and let's build it so we can actually deploy it to a real web server. So what you do is Hugo, just Hugo. And as you can see, it builds it really fast. Hugo says that it builds each page in under a millisecond. So if you're used to waiting with, uh, with other static website generators, then it's gonna be a lot faster with Hugo. So what this Hugo command does is it creates a new folder called public. And inside the public folder is gonna be all the HTML and CSS that the website is made of. So as you can see, we have a folder for CSS, we have an index.html, we have a directory for the about page, a directory for posts, and CSS and uh, RSS feed as well. And then you can just upload this folder to whatever server that you want. Like if you're using Netlify, then you can honestly just click and drag this folder into Netlify and it'll, and it'll have your site up in seconds. Or you can put this on a VPS, just set it up with Apache or Nginx, point it at this folder and that'll take care of it. It's up and running. So as you can see, it's really easy. Maybe I'll make a video later on explaining all the different ways to deploy it to a host, but it's pretty easy. Like if you just want to go to Netlify, 
start a new account, you can just click and drag your project right into here once you sign up. So that's what I'd do if you just want to get up and running as soon as possible. And that's all there is to it, to Hugo, at least the basics. So I might do a video explaining more, uh, explaining some more advanced topics like adding tags and categories. But as you can see, we have a working website already. So that's how, that's how easy it is just to get up and running with Hugo.